everybody, it's John the Gamer Duo here. Today is a special day, nonetheless, as we are continuing our Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. And I'm going to do a team recap for you guys today because it's been a, kind of a hot minute since we've, one, since I've recorded, and two, because we do have a new team member. So it's always just best to do a team recap when you have a fairly new team member. We have Luca, who is the new team member, the Swalot, with Liquid Ooze, Body Slam, Cross Poison, Rock Climb, and Sludge Bomb. We've got Cheryl with Night Slash, Air Slash, Fly, and Shadow Punch. Then we have Dan with Bite, Thunder Punch, Ice Beam, and Charge Beam. We have Shelly with Dive, Bone Meringue, Cut, and Surf. We've got Bulbous with Leaf Blade, Defog, Giga Drain, and Rock Smash. And we have Murr with Strength, Steel Wing, U-Turn, Focus, Energy. I think that that's a very good, like, kind of team compositionally and I think we'll find out as we go on whether or not our team is ready to handle the craziness because I think that there are going to be some crazy moments I'm not going to lie that we could have some very intriguing scenarios but you never really know until it actually happens Ooh, rock blast how much is damage is that like four? Oh, that's actually from a Jolteon? Really? Five. That, it hit five times too. Cause, yeah, but then. Anyway, I'm surprised that Jolteon actually did that much damage to us. Now it's gonna not die as well. Oh boy. And now we're gonna. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get Thunderbolted. Don't die. Bruh, Luca, you were level 51. You are 15 levels ahead of this thing. What in the world caused that to happen? Now we have to go to our bag. Already, to start this episode off, we already had an almost death. That did so much damage. Like, what? Since when? Like, where? Um, what the heck? Why? The who, what, when, where, why, how is about to come out because I'm like, you, I mean, I know it's a Jolteon, but Rock Blast did a, did a bunch of damage. Okay, Mount Cornet, back where we are in Mount Cornet. And wait, I'm gonna just go this way, see what we can find. Oh, there's, there wasn't really anything in there. Okay, let's go ahead and Rock Climb up here, Luca. You need to stay alive because Rock Climb is mucho importante. Um... And I want to make sure that I don't die. Jeez, okay. Well, Leafeon, we've, and that's a Pokemon we've already encountered or caught before. So that's not a bad thing. And of course, I'm going to just attack, attack and pretty much try and kill whatever we need to. Because we need experience. We're getting to that point where experience is kind of necessary. Because... I mean, the wild Pokemon are getting close to level 40 first off. That's already a big sig a big no-no signal. Um, two, we're not being able to one-shot these Pokemon. I know they're kind of pseudo-big no-no signal in an Ozlock is when you can't one-shot the wild Pokemon, especially with a super effective move. Like, come on, Luca, you can do better than that. Um, but what we can do is we're going to go down, kind of see... What's up? A lava berry. <laughs> okay, that's terrible, but we'll 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 deal with it. We kinda have to. Can we is this an item too? Probably. No, okay. That's not an area either. Wait, are you? Wait, we can rock smash this rock? Wait, what? That did nothing for us. And then we get, oh, this. I didn't even, it's hard to notice those things. Like, honestly, it is It's quite difficult. Okay, are we getting higher in level? Please tell me no. Please tell me we're still in the same boat. Oh boy, we're getting higher. Ah! I can't, we can't be getting higher and higher and higher in level. These Pokemon are already tough enough to defeat. Not to mention the fact that 
they're getting like higher in level. I mean, this is we're getting. This is a nerve-wracking. Oh boy, you, uh, you pro played me with that disable, didn't you? You did. Okay, rock climb. Oh, okay. And rock climb's 90 some odd percent accurate, so we have to kind of deal with, or it's like 85 percent accurate. So we gotta have to deal with the fact that it is not the most accurate thing in the world, and we have to hope to hit twice. We did it! We hit twice, which is good. So gold back goes down, but like I said, we're trying to level up at this point because our team is definitely in a desperate need. Oh, are we at the end? I think we're getting close to the end. Uh-oh. Are we even leveled up to the capabilities that we need to right now for this? Spear pillar that I can look well because I've played I think it's a double battle and then a single battle and another single battle spear pillar or is it just Mars and oh it might be just Mars but I'm not sure so yeah okay so you got the galactic grunts who are regular level 38 And then you have the battle with Mars and Jupiter. Okay, and they... It doesn't tell you. Okay, their aces are 46. Oh, is that them together? Yeah, because they can't do a 66. So their aces... Holy crap! Wait, is that in diamond or is this in pearl? Oh my god, that's diamond and pearl. That's not even in platinum. Oh boy! Let's get to platinum. Oh, they're, okay, they're they're both 46 now, so their levels are just increased. Not by a terrible amount, but their levels did get increased. And it looks like Cyrus... It doesn't tell me... Oh, I don't think I battle Cyrus yet. I think I have to wait till later in the game to battle Cyrus there. Um, but per ugly, it's a 46. I know I'm stuck on a screen. I'm thinking... I'm collaborating my thought process. 46. Calculator. I want to say I'm like basically right there. 46 times 1.15. So they're going to be level 53. So they'll be a little bit more of a challenge, which I'm definitely fine with. Like I said, I thought we were at least somewhere on target but I didn't know calculator and I think you guys will be happy that we're kind of pseudo under leveled for these fights especially with um, Cyrus's fight because he's gonna be level 55 so if you think about it they actually were kind of getting a little bit lower here do not get the accuracy drop well we hit but yeah, so we're, they're starting to get a little bit, we're starting to have to like actually think and make progressional ideas and thought processes that a lot of the times you don't really have to make. So I think, so these, both of these grunts are level 38 normally. So these grunts should look pretty respectable, like l low 40s. 46, oh boy, <laughs> not low 40s at all. So we're not quite at the spear pillar yet then. Um, because we're going to see a huge <laughs> jump in levels. Wow, okay, because 38, yeah, because, yeah, we're going to have to see a huge jump in levels because 38 times 1.15, they're going to be level 43, or 44, so from 44 to 53, that's, like, a huge jump, and we're going to, we're just going to see that right in action, apparently. Anyway, this Polyrath, I don't feel like is a big problem. It's just a Polyrath. We get the poison off, which is awesome. Vice Grip is gonna do a, what? Oh, that's a crit, oh boy. I was like, I could, I had a feeling that was a, cr a crit, because Vice Grip, really doing that much? Not, nah, not in, in any other world other than this one, where I get crit, because, yeah. I'm like, I'm scratching my, like, a pseudo beard here it's kind of weird okay water pulse um and it's gonna 
do no damage at all. Because we're a little bit more specially defensive. Um, which I guess is good to know that we're specially defensive. And once we level up, I kind of need to look at the stats of Luka. Because it's, I know Luka has a lot of HP. But... Oh, Rampardos. We're swapping. <laughs> that is uh, no questions asked. <laughs> we are swapping no questions asked. Um, Shelly, get in here. Okay, so you're gonna have rock type moves primarily. Um, so I'm not too nervous. Oh, wow, you're level 48. Yikes! But anyway, you you have a way less special defense. Your defenses are kind of not the greatest. But we should one-shot you with a serve right there. Yes, okay, you are one-shotted, which is what I figured. What, 20, 2,000? 2,476, or 46, I can't read. Level 52, so what does Shelly's stat distribution look like? 199 HP, 129, and just the special defense is a little low, but other than the special defense, I'm okay. If everything's over 100 at this point, then that's a good thing. Alright, so, again, we have another Galactic Threat. I don't want these, I don't want these guys to have, like, super tough Pokemon. That's all I'm asking. Arcanine is fine. Arcanine is okay. It's level 47 though, so it's not it's not gonna give me they're not giving me the easiest of time, which is again, just fine by me. I'd rather have a little bit more of a tough time than have a really super easy time and be like, oh, we're good. Everything's fine. Like, we're we're finally getting to that point. This that point in Nuzlocke that I really like, where nothing comes easy. Everything is a little bit more difficult. Although Fire Blast and Ember on an Arcanine is a little bit of a question mark. Um, but, I mean, I guess that's, if that's what it learned, it's what it learned. But Arcanine should die. One hit KO? Yes. Um, it's just because Shelly's like, really good. Uh, 1072 for the both of them. Polyrath, another one. Another one. In this same episode. Um... We might as well go back into Luca. Luca can get some experience. Get, get him closer to level 52 so that we can, you know, level him up. Uh, so Polyrath, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna do the same thing. Just sludge Bomb twice, that should win the game. Water Pulse, again, like we knew, does barely anything. Because we're a lot more specially invested, apparently. Um, honestly, I have no idea what the EV spreads are, obviously, because it's a Nuzlocke. And... I'm not paying attention to, like, oh, this gives me one EV, this gives me two EVs. Da, 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 da. I'm not. Nobody's ever that technical, so. Um, anyway, we got another poison chance, though, and I'm liking the fact that Luca's getting poison chances because that is really helping us whittle down these Pokemon. So, that's nice. Clerk Pie. And we're heading up further. Oh, another. <laughs> Another Galactic Grunt. Okay. Well, before we get into this, we're going to use our Hyper Potion on Shelly so that Shelly can be fully healed because Shelly's a little on the side of... a little bit on the scarier side there. And we're going to fight this Galactic Grunt. See where this is going to... where she's going to take us. Because I think we're on the... nearing the end of Mount Cornet, the Mount Cornet section. It, I think it really feels like it. Ooh, a Metagross. Oh, no, 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 honey. You are not... They are not... We're not dealing with the Metagross. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Not a thing. Not a chance. Not a chance. We're not dealing with the Metagross. We are just gonna let this Metagross die. Um, Shelly. Shelly can take this Metagross down, hopefully. Rest. Oh. Oh, wait, that's right. Metagrosses were stally. That's right. Freaking, um... Cyrus had a Metagross, and it was so stally. But we just got a crit, so... That helps. Because <laughs> that, that crit actually potentially mattered. Because if that because crits do double damage in this game, so that's how much damage two of them would have done. So that could have actually mattered. Uh, Empoleon's next. We're going to just go stay in. It's an Empoleon. Like, we, another thing that we can just bone rank to death as this, this Empoleon should be a mon that doesn't live, right? Yeah, Empoleon will not live. Because I figured Empoleon's defenses were worse. So, Empoleon is da -da 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 dead. And what do we have left? 21, uh, a lot of experience, actually. Exploud is the last Mon on 
So, with, I mean, with it being an x -Bob, I'm going to put Cheryl out in the front, because x -Bob should not have really anything to hit Cheryl. And Cheryl is kind of becoming, um, kind of lagging behind here, but only because she wouldn't be if I wasn't being very careful with leveling her up. Because she has been an amazing Pokemon, basically, this entire adventure ever since we got her in, um, that, uh, Celestion Ruins. So, I'm not even mad. Oh, we missed Air Slash. But, the only thing that I would say that Cheryl needs to work on is hitting Air Slashes. Because that thing is 95% accurate, and she misses that way too often. Like, yeah. That is the one thing about Cheryl that I would say could improve is her ability to actually hit Air Slashes. Because that's literally the move that we look for. And it's the movie that doesn't seem to want to hit. Drapion! Okay, well, Drapion is a good mon. But I literally have no... Oh, we can't escape. Uh-oh. I can't... Oh, gosh. Sniper Dra Drapion would be... I'm sure Drapion's the powers. Oh, is that the end? I feel like it is. Because we've been kind of rolling up. So let's go ahead... Heal everybody up, because I think it's that time. Mer is the only one that I don't want to heal up, because um, 40, 40 is not worth it. If I had, like, a super potion or something, I would, but I think we're at the spear pillar. Yes, we are. Oh, boy. Our boss is something. Has to, is about to do something spectacular. Don't get in the way. Of course you will, won't you? That's why the two of us are all here to team up and take you down in an epic duel. In a forced double battle! Okay, forced double battle section, which is a little scary. Okay, what are we leading off with? Smeargle and Reggie Gigas. Luckily, Reggie Gigas does have slow start because it is not an extreme randomizer. So that's awesome. Double normal types, also not a bad thing. We are gonna just target this Smeargle down. Actually, I kinda don't wanna target the Smeargle down. If I'm gonna be honest, I kinda wanna get this Regigigas out of the way. Cause, oh, E-speed Regigigas, ooh. And slow start though, so this will be doing double damage if I let it stay on the field for five turns. And the Regigigas is level 47. Oh no, Ancient Power, oh, that did absolutely nothing. Okay, I really did think that I was going to do way more than it did. Cross Poison, how much did that? That o code this miracle, uh oh. Don't set up, okay, I was going to say, don't set up double legendaries, that's all I'm asking. Level 49 Blastoise. Okay, so we are going to just target down this Regigigas, because I do not want it to be picking up some force and some speed, because that, it will get scary if it picks up. Dive. Okay, you're hitting somebody with dive. But yeah, I just do not want this thing to just decide that it can do whatever. Oh no, you just double confused. Because Cedar Dance is very... Oh no. It does. Okay. I was like, I thought it double confused. Okay, so... That was actually the biggest brain play ever. Double confuse me with Teeter Dance. Again, I'm just going to double target into the Regigiga slot. One of them should hit, and if they both don't hit, I'll be sad. Okay, boom. So, Regigiga goes down, which leaves whoever gets the dive. Who, who's getting dived? That's a big deal right now. Luca is going to level up to 52. We're not going to see his stats, are we? Oh, no, we are. Okay. So, Luca's attack is much better than his special attack. Um, defense is... I guess his special defense and defense aren't really that much different. Uh, and Dive is going to attack Cheryl. So, with Dive attacking Cheryl, that's fine. Now, Luca, please hit your cross. Nope. I knew one of them was going to hit themselves in confusion. So, Ludicolo Blastoise. Oh, don't set up the rain, please. Do not, and I mean it, do not set up the rain. Because I will be so sad if you decide to set up the rain. And we're going to Air Slash. Um, the Ludicolo, because I have a feeling that this Blastoise is going to die. Air Slash misses. Again! 
<laughs> Luca does snap out of confusion and cross poisons, which has a 12% chance to crit, by the way. Did not get the crit. Grass Whistle misses. Okay, we Grass Whistle. And then I'm gonna fly to counteract the dive. Just don't hear yourself in confusion. I figured, oh wait, no, you didn't even attack the Mon, the same Mon, okay. So Ludicolo is down now, which is awesome. Neither of them has snapped out of confusion, which is um, a little bit on the scary side. Let's see if any of them will snap out of confusion. Cheryl did not snap out of confusion yet, but Air Slash will do some damage. We got the flinch! Okay, fine, good. We got the flinch chance. And we're just gonna continue doing what we just did on that last turn. Cheryl snaps out of confusion. Perfect timing to do that. Um, and Blastoise goes down with that. Luca and Cheryl gain 1100 experience. We're not capable of slowing you. We'll let you pass so you can get pulverized by our bosses. Our boss is, um, quote, unquote, bosses. So, yeah, we're gonna have quite the fight ahead of us. 107. See, like, I can see why they changed Hyper Potions, because you really had no reason to buy uh, anything other than Hyper Potions. Where do you think you're going? I want you to starve our boss. If you're not going to listen, you'll have to take me through first. After all, you've made me look bad more times than I can remember. And I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time the gloves are coming off. Hold on one second. Don't start the party without me. Huh? Remember me? I'm here to get my revenge. Huh? If it isn't that little boy, the little crybaby from Lake Acuity. Oh, Supra, you just got wrecked. Did you toughen up a bit? Sure, let's battle two on two. Oh, no. These guys are going to be level 52. So, why did you do this? I kind of wanted to take them one on one so that I didn't get screwed over. Mr. Mom and Unknown. Okay. That's okay. Supra has a Gly score. Do not click Earthquake. Also, you were level 46 against these level 51. Oh, that's two psychic types. That is a horrible lead. I can't... Psychic types? I can't fight psychic types. That's the one type. That is the one type that my team does not appreciate. And it's, of course, the one type you have. A note I'm not worried about is that Mr. Mime that needs to just get out. So I'm gonna flop into my Cheryl because sh I mean I will get attacked for some damage. Oh, why'd you feather dance? Why, Supra? Why? Feather dance is gonna do nothing. Oh no. Oh no. Why, 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 why? No! Support unknown too? <laughs> oh my gosh. That had to have been like the worst turn. Because Mr. Mime is not gonna attack with a physical attack, okay? It's just not. Shadow Punch, we're fast, actually. We're pretty, we're a fast Mon. Luckily, we just knocked out the, we did not. Uh -oh. Missed. Black score, what are you doing? Okay. I set up another, yes. okay. You were focused on setting up too much. You, I'm just gonna attack you. Wow. Okay, both of us don't have the flying type thing anymore. This unknown is very weird and <laughs> like gravity, um, light screen, do not send for a flag, that's all I'm asking. Do not pull the wheel to a needle. Why? Just attack, please. Skill swap. Um. Oh my god! 
gosh, you have a Houndoom now. Just Earthquake Supra. Please, that's all I am asking you to do is just Earthquake. Because it's a dark type. I don't know if I'm faster, so I'm just gonna take the precautionary and air slash. Bite is gonna do how much? Not even half, okay. Because bite though. There we go, you feather dance the right moment here. Mist Ball. Okay, so we know your entire moveset that it's Light Screen, Gravity, Mist Ball, and uh, Skill Swap. I just realized something. This unknown decides to Skill Swap me. Then I'll actually be in quite some trouble. Okay, Heat Wave. Not gonna do that much damage. At least I don't think so. Oh no, that's doing way more than I thought. Uh oh, Cheryl. Oh gosh. And Glyscore uses Roost. What is your attacking move, Glyscore? I really want you to don't don't tell me you attacked me. Oh no, Cheryl. Live, live, live. It's an unknown. Live, 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 live. Oh my gosh, we literally just lived on one right there. Wow! Okay! So, we lived on one. Or, I guess, I guess we lived on two. But still, we barely lived. And actually, I'm gonna have to use the first ever Max Potion. Wow! Cheryl literally almost died in front of our faces! Okay. I really want crit the Gliscor! 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 Come on! Get a crit! Get a crit! Get a crit! 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 The fact that I'm literally wanting hacks right now, I'm like, get a crit, get a crit, get a crit, 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 get a crit, get a crit, get a crit, crit, crit. You are double targeting me, which really sucks right now. I'm gonna have to swap because of the double targeting. I'm going into Shelly. Because I can take care of the Houndoom when I go into Shelly. I think that the AIs realize that I am not a threat. Like, or that the Gliscor is not a threat. So it's gonna do the same thing that I'm doing with this unknown, because this unknown is not a threat to me at all. Um, so they're trying to do the same thing. They're just gonna try and knock out me. Like, it's kind of crazy that their goal is very similar. You know what? Get everybody out of here. Like, everybody, oh no. Why do it? Oh my gosh, you just targeted me again! They're gonna just double target me this entire fight, which is fantastic. Uh, they're double targeting me. Because I'm the best. Now I'm triple targeting me by hitting myself in confusion! Oh! My goodness gracious. Can we not die to the fact that we have terrible, like... Please, like, we... Can't... Target again! Ah! Stop triple targeting me, please. Did you get a crit? No. Get a crit, please. Yay, I got burned. Yay, I got double targeted again. I am seen as the bigger threat, which is not wrong at all because I'm the better trainer. But they're literally 
making it so I can't touch them. Which means that this fight is going to be a forever fight because I got burned, but... I got rid of my burn and confusion. Please, yes! Bye, Glyscore. You are pointless. Um, but light screen just went up because... Swellow, okay. Swellow, you're probably gonna die because you're gonna be a casualty, a casualty of this Serp. Swellow close combated. Oh. Well, bye, Hand Doom. Didn't know that Swellow just decided to pull out a close combat. Now Swellow's definitely gonna die. <laughs> um, unless. Oh no. Okay, wait. You have. I don't even know what the abilities are, what they had. Anyway, bye, Swallow. <laughs> of course the Swallow gets crit. Of course the Swallow gets crit. I mean, it didn't matter, but... Oh, dang! Double crit! Okay. Cheryl, gets, Cheryl got 220 experience from that. Gravity returns to normal. Quagsire! Okay, well, at least you have a Raikou. So these are the two aces. Which... It kind of sucks that that thing's got water absorb, more than likely. Because that leaves it in a scenario where I literally... Oh, switcheroo. Oh, you don't have an item. Okay. Why do you have a slam on your Raikou? Why do you have a slam on your Raikou? Why? Tell me why you have a slam on your Raikou. Ring out. Oh, no. Do Stop attacking at Quagsire. Because that is going to continually do more and more damage as this Quagsire is less and less health. Which means that that could become an issue if Super you are the most pointless trainer right now. Why... Why do I even have to do this battle with you? Like, crab hammer. Oh boy. Okay. I don't. I'm not. I almost want to serve. Reversal. No 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 no. Wait. Why didn't it? Why didn't it do that much? That did it way lower than I remember it doing. Reversal. Pokemon. Or is this the move that is a you get? Yeah! Wait. Did my Gastro just die? And while I'm looking at the move... I don't think it did. Yeah, so that reversal right now, that was a 200 base power stab move. Oh, okay, so I didn't die. That was just uh, the uh, Galilee coming in, which Galilee is not too big of a deal. Yeah, we didn't take as much damage as I thought I would from that, so that's fine. Because that was either 200 or 150 base power stabs, so... Okay, Chime Echo, you are level 46, so no wonder why Barry had a problem with... Helping Hand... Oh, no. Helping Hand... Po oh, I was going to say, Helping Hand Poison Tail. Okay, weird. Helping Hand Ring Out, which right now is not doing a lot of damage, so do not... <laughs> yeah, Ring Out's the move that, like, does... I think Ring Out's just like Reversal.
So ring out damage. Is 120 times current HP over maximum of the target. So it's not of us. Okay, so then that's not the right, that's not the move that I was thinking of. So, right now if it attacked me, it'd be 110 base power, or 121 base power. So, add that with the helping hand bonus, and we're in a little bit of a dire scenario. But, we just got rid of the Skalele, hopefully. Although, helping hand did go through, so... Just don't ring me out, and that's all that matters. We leveled up to 53 as well, so we're on par now. We have 200 ex... Oh, well, bye time, Echo. Well, there's his ace, his Warrain. Um, although this is the, literally the last Mon. I would have loved to see that a long time ago, please. Like... That would have been amazing if I would have saw that a little bit ago. Oh, we got a crit. Okay, that did... That. And this is going to do some damage. 120 base power, but it's non-stab. And Hail will fall and hit Shelly, but also kill the Quagmire, so... Oh, well, it did. It lived on like two. Of course. Okay, well, I'm going to use Surf, because that's 100% accurate, so... Or this Walrein's gonna attack first, because apparently it's the fastest on the field. Okay! Well, Shelly gets 1,550 experience. We beat... Were they both named Marilyn? I think they were. <laughs> <laughs> My Pokemon are tough, right? Oh, what just happened? Oh, there we go. Okay, fixed it. I was like, oh no! My Pokemon are tough, right? No, they're not, Super. They're literally garbage. I can get an even tougher. You better if I have to fight with you again. But, you know, that's it for us. John, I'll help you with this. Thanks for healing me. I appreciate it. Super fully healed your Pokemon. Hey, John, this is it. It's your show now. You literally just wanted to get revenge on Jupiter by fighting behind me. But yet didn't do anything. Everything is ready for the creation of the new world. Now, all will end. Everything will begin. And with this, the red chain made from the crystals of the Three Lakes Pokemon. And this, the red chain, I replicated with technological means. And those red chains, I will pry upon the portal to another dimension. I command you unleash the power for me. Dialga, the mythical Pokemon and master of time. And the other, Palkia, the mythical Pokemon and master of space and dimensions. So long for this moment, Dialga and Palkia. Shaping this world is a double spiral of time and space. Yes, the very things that you have the ability to control. You will do my bidding, and I will have your abilities as mine. With the power I yield, or wield, I will create an entirely new world. It, the incomplete and ugly world we have can now disappear. I am resetting everything to zero, and nothing can remain. It is all for making the ultimate world a world of complete perfection. 
nothing so vague and incomplete as spirit can remain. I should have expected as much. Euxes, the being of knowledge. Azelf, the being of willpower. And Mesprit, the being of emotion. The Pokemon have come to protect Sinnoh. Pathetic and worthless. It takes three of them. The three lake Pokemon that symbolize spirit to balance either the Pokemon of time or space. But they can't maintain the balance against the two. Not with both Diab and Palkia here. Their coming here is in vain. So much meaningless drama. Now, John, you've constantly interfered with my plans, but you will be forgiven. After all, there will remain no spirit for all time when I am done. All spirit will disappear and be ripped away. For you. From you. From your Pokemon. From those who are precious to you. It is time. My dream will finally become a reality. What is this pressure I feel? Something has been enraged. <laughs> Interesting. So there is a Pokemon that can only appear as a shadow. Regardless, the effort is rash and foolish. I've harnessed the powers of Dialga and Palkia. I, Cyrus, won't have any more. Interfere! No! Why are you worried, Cynthia? Oh, shoot. This is stuff that I don't remember because I've never played Platinum before. Mind you, I've played Diamond and Plat Diamond and Pearl, where this exact portion did not exist. This like never was a th this part of the game was not a thing, so I've never gone through this. I'm sorry, I took so long. I think I finally found the answer from studying the myths. When the world was made, Dialga and Palki appeared. Apparently there was one more Pokemon that appeared at the same time. A Pokemon much more power with as much power as Iok and Palkia, and, but also one whose name is never to be spoken. <laughs> she says it's never to be spoken, and then she literally says it. Garatina. It's said to lurk in the another world, a world opposite of ours. That's what the shadow was. It must have been Garatina. That's twice! <laughs> The pillars are distorting. It's because of the portal. It has joined us to the other world. If it if it's not closed, the direction will spread against Sinnoh and beyond. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? We have to chase after Cyrus. Yes. We have to hurry. I mean, I don't want to be ready. But I do have to be ready at the same time. This place... Can you feel it? There are no Pokemon here at all. Time isn't flowing, and space isn't stable. A world where rules are broken. A space one might call the distortion world. Let's find Garatina. We need to stop from spreading the distortion at the Spear Pillar. That was Garatina. We have to hurry. If something's not done, the distortion will swallow not only our world, it will overwhelm the distortion world. I like how you made a nickname for like immediately. Okay, but that is all stuff that is gonna be ha having to happen in the next episode of the Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nest Log, because I think we've been recording for long enough in this episode. Oh my gosh, we have. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.